Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm looking a little weird because I'm doing another full face with an eyeshadow palette. This was actually suggested to me, I don't know if it was on that video, but someone left a comment and I thought it was a great idea to do a full face with one of the smaller Wet n Wild 10 Pan palettes. So the palette that I picked is the My Glamour Squad palette, and these are all of the shades right here. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the Soft Glam or the, uh, yeah, I believe it's Soft Glam from ABH. And I picked this palette because while it is neutral, you have a wide range of different multitasking shades. The other palette I was considering doing this with was with this one, and this is the Stop Playing Safe, because I thought you know you get some color you also get some other neutrals to play with but i really like the fact that this one has a matte black in it and for someone who has dark hair a matte black is an essential multitasking shade and in the series i'm not doing this full face of blank as kind of not just a challenge and not just like for the fun of it i'm doing this to really test which products can multitask and do a full face because back when I was first doing makeup and first really getting into the community I couldn't afford a whole lot of stuff. I ended up trying to multitask with as much as I could at the beginning of my collection. It was very small. I really didn't have any face products because I didn't wear bronzer for the first few months. I only started wearing blush a few months ago and you know all these little things that I take for granted and I feel like maybe the community takes for granted not everyone has access to all those separate products so what I really want to do is continue this series and really find out whether or not these can be used for a full wearable face so if you missed the full face I did with the BH cosmetics love science palette I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to catch that one as well but let's go ahead and jump into this palette I've already done my foundation concealer and powder and that's it so other than the foundation the concealer and the powder nothing else is on my face so I really want to go in and do as much as I can with this palette so I'm thinking I could use this big shade over here as a bronzer I really want to try to use this darker shade as a contour and I'm thinking this like kind of orangey shade right here if I use it really really light I think that could be a blush so I was thinking either that one or the sparkly pink and do like a sparkly pink blush but I'm not sure how that one would turn out so let's go ahead and try that the only downside to this palette and when you're looking at items to multitask like this is that the pans are so small thankfully like the end ones are a little bit bigger so I really shouldn't have an issue dipping my brush into yeah like I can probably get my brush coated in this one but when it comes to these smaller pans I'm probably going to have some issues I'm not sure I really see anything. <laughs> Let's try a smaller brush. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this elf brush and see if I can get this coated. Okay, so I've got a fair amount on the brush here. Now let's try. All right, I see a little bit of something. It's definitely a very light shade. Okay, now I can see it. Now I can definitely see a difference between this side and that side. So I'm going to just blend this out a little bit. Probably brought it a little bit too far down over here. My fault. But it's not a bad shade. So that actually made a really nice bronzer. Nice. I like the shade. The only thing is that it isn't blending out as nicely on my forehead as it did on the rest of my face, so I'm probably gonna just blend that out a little bit more. But I like it. We've, we've got some color. We don't look dead. <laughs> Alright, so now for the contour. I'm gonna take my contour brush. And this one's easy to dip right into the pan. It fits right in there, so I'm gonna actually tap off the excess on my hand, because I don't want this to be too dark. And stamp on my contour. go take my duo fiber brush see how it blends out so it definitely didn't blend out as nicely as our first shade but we've got a contour 
I probably would have gone in either a little bit lighter or just straight with a duo fiber brush to blend that out. But at least the shade is working. All right, so for blush, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this light pink shimmer shade right here and I'm taking another clean elf brush and I'm like doing this to get it to fit in just that because I don't want to grab any of what I use as a bronzer and I don't want to grab like the darker shade next to it. Can we do it? Okay, we've got a decent amount on the brush. Let's see. Okay, I see a little bit. Take, I got a clean duo fiber. Blend, blend, blend. You know what? If you like a subtle highlight, that's probably enough because of the shimmer shade. It did give us a nice little highlight with it. I'm personally just curious and I really want to try out this lightest shimmer shade as a highlight. So let me take my little highlighting brush. This is from Wet n Wild. Load up with that. I'm going to tap off the excess from this one because it's a bit shimmery. It actually makes a very nice highlight. I'm just gonna again kind of blend everything together with this duo fiber brush. So that's our base done. It's definitely possible. Like I said, I would go a little bit lighter on that contour shade and probably use a duo fiber brush, but it doesn't look bad. So the next thing I want to tackle are my brows. They're looking a little. Hmm. So I'm just gonna, of course, go in with the matte black shade. Let's spoolie these up. Alrighty, and then both the spoolie and the angled brush that I'm going to use are both from e.l.f. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the angled brush. It looks really nice. I like that there's not a lot of fallout as long as you tap off the excess because that's the worst thing when you get fallout from matte black when it's like up here and it cuts down here. And I like that this palette also has some other options so there's kind of like an auburn so there's even like an auburn color if you have that shade of hair basically you could pretty much do you might be able to do every type of brow with this because um, unless you're like really really light blonde and then this might be too dark for you over here but you've got the two browns you've got like a, a red you've got the kind of orangey auburn you've got a, a medium brown and then you have a matte black so i really think this is a good brow <laughs> brow palette so we're looking really good so far i'm fairly impressed so i'm gonna jump off camera and prime my eyes set the primer and then we'll come back to do eyeshadow all right guys we're back i primed my eyes and i set them now one downside to this palette if you are lighter then you don't really have a shade in here that can set your eye primer if you do set your primer. If you have a deeper complexion, I'm sure there are a couple other options. I'm not sure how those undertones would really look if you're setting your uh, either concealer or your eye primer with it, but I had to go back to my face powder to actually set my eye primer. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. I really wanna use this gold. That's one of the few shades I haven't used yet. So I'm thinking about using some of the browns, maybe bringing in this little orangey shade, and then I really wanna go all over the lid with that gold. So I'm gonna take this first big transition shade right here. Don't have my mirror in front of me because I packed it. This is actually the one that I keep hung up on my wall, but I took it down. <laughs> so. That bird won't shut up. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Maybe the crow also wants to know how to use a wet and wild palette to its full advantage. All the animals are out. We actually, we have huskies that live down the street and I love the way that they bark because they don't bark, they just yell. <laughs> so every now and then, back when I, when they first moved in, I got scared because you would just hear random yells outside. It doesn't matter what time of day it was, whenever the dogs were let out. So you, <laughs> I finally like saw them like when I was walking to the train station one day and I was like, oh, so it's the dogs. <laughs> like it's not just someone random outside going, Hurr! but that's how they bark. They go outside and they go, Hurr! And that's the huskies <laughs> but they're gorgeous so one's like completely white and then one is a black and white mix and they're both adorable huskies ah i know the dogs on my street better than i know the people just okay i'm gonna take a smaller little blending brush and go in with this shade take that a little bit down take that a little bit down 
I think for my last deepening shade, I'm gonna go in with like that kind of orangey shade right over here. I think that'll look really nice against the gold. So, same brush. Just gonna pack this a little bit closer to my lash line and to the outer third. Okay, I'm gonna get a big fluffy brush with no product on it and just kind of blend everything together. Bring it up and out, up and out. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that gold shade. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my usual NYX glitter glue. If anything, oh no, I packed it. What am I gonna use? All right, so um, I'm pre-filming this because I am uh, traveling tomorrow. Like, I still need to finish packing, but uh, why pack when your flight's tomorrow when you can film a video, right? So my next glitter glue isn't here. What am I gonna do? Okay, now, let's see, let's see, maybe I'm gonna go in with that gold shade on my finger and just see how it sticks to my lid. I'm so lost without my glitter glue, guys, like seriously. Okay, that actually doesn't look bad. I don't know how long that's gonna last. It's definitely not as vibrant as it would have looked with the glitter glue, but it's there. <laughs> okay, I would 100% um, recommend still going in with the glitter glue if you have the option. Uh, I just can't unpack my suitcase right now, or what I have packed in my suitcase right now to grab it. So for my lower lash line, I really want to go in with like this deep red down here. I think that'll add a little bit of definition right out here. And then I'll blend it out with this lightest transition shade over here. Oh, that actually looks so good. I like that a lot. I'm debating whether or not I want to go in with that light shade at all. Hmm. Let's take a little bit of it, maybe just on the inner portion, like right here and blend it out. That actually looks really nice. I was debating whether I wanted to use the black to go in and smudge a liner, but I think it looks really good right there. Just one last finishing touch. I'm gonna take that lightest champagne shimmer and just highlight my inner corner. I love a good highlighted inner corner. For the final touch, I'm just going to go in with my favorite lipstick from Wet n Wild, of course, Rebel Rose. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I am really impressed. I really am. I think the shade that we use as a bronzer looks really nice. I really like how versatile all of these shades are. I love that deep, like, burgundy red. I think it adds just the right pop right down here that matches the lipstick really nicely. Uh, I love having a matte black in a palette when I'm looking for something that's versatile because with my dark, dark hair, black works just so well in brows as liner as so many other things if you want to fill in like your little hairline up here i used to do that with my pan that palette but overall i'm just really really impressed i would 100 percent wear this out of the house i would 100 percent try this again with this palette and i'm curious to try it with other palettes but i'm wondering how well it would work with other ones just because i feel like the highlights of this were the two larger brown shades that worked great as a bronzer and a contour and that matte black so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if there are any other palettes you want to see me do a full face experiment with thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye